couple of seven seconds left so I'm hoping that this route can get open and get out of bounds and sure enough I get a slight window <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got another uh, gameplay slash offense video for you guys today. I said in a previous video that I've moved on to the Tampa Bay playbook and that I think it's one of the most explosive passing offenses in the game. And I got some updates for you on some of my favorite formations. Uh, formations that you guys probably are using if you watch my channel. So this is going to be a very important video. As well as probably one of the most intense gameplays that I've played all year. This game goes all the way to the wire. So as always, if you guys want to see more gameplays, more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And also, if you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine, make sure you check out my coin sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Now, as far as my defensive playbook, I'm using something completely different. I was labbing uh, some new plays, some new plays out of this formation. I'm in the Tennessee Titans defensive playbook, and this is the dollar sugar. I'm still kind of labbing it, but I wanted to use some new stuff. I wanted to find some new stuff for you guys. That's exactly what I'm doing. So even though I decided to move on to the Tampa Bay offense, the defense is still kind of up in the air. So let me know in the comment section what defensive playbooks you guys would like to see me uh, make get some plays out of or what you would suggest. I know a lot of people want to see the Giants, uh, but I want to try some new stuff. I don't want to use the same stuff everybody else is using. So first play on defense, Michael Vick is going to be doing some Houdini type stuff in this game. Is the very first play flicks it out. Uh, he doesn't even throw the ball to the flat. I wish I got that animation more often. The very first series, like I said, I'm, I'm laughing a lot of this stuff. He's going to use Michael Vick a lot. I think the MVP of this game for him is going to be Michael Vick's legs he takes off there on the next play i mean he's just basically you know hit me with big chunk plays right out the gate i mean i'm basically just trying to create some blitzes out of this look because it's a nice you know tightly compact formation it's not really working out too well in the very first series as you can see i mean he's just basically every you know every play he makes is 10 plus he's just going right down the field on me so i'm gonna switch it up a little bit i'm gonna go back to that defense later one of the reasons that i like this tennessee titans book is because they do have a 4-4 split i love the cover two invert play this is going to be my money play when it comes to uh guys coming out and you know two receiver sets like he is you can see on the very next play no nope. we get a pretty easy stop so if he's going to come out a lot of two wide receiver sets i'm going to come out and match in this 4-4 but then there's always the issue of michael vick speed which i can't match so it's a tough matchup. Michael Vick is definitely a tough matchup down the next play. He just basically dots me for an easy touchdown over my cover too. It almost looked like I ran commit on that play. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> so on the offensive side, the offense that I'm going to be in most of this game is going to be the gun split close. I put out a full breakdown of this in the past. If you guys want to see an updated version of this on Saturday, there's a lot of new updates to this uh, formation based off of the patches that they put out last month. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section and maybe I'll put that out on Saturday. Only adjustment I'm going to make to my audibles, I'm going to take the slot curl out of there, which is still a good play. And I'm going to put the fullback inside in there which is definitely the best running play in this formation that's pretty much gonna be it then i'm gonna pick the halfback slip screen although the fifth play that i pick typically can vary there's so many good plays in this formation that it really switched it up uh but on this first play I mean, he's running a cover three so if i want to i could take that running back in the flat but he'll also leaves the screen wide open so i hit him with the screen i mean that's the thing about this formation there's so many great cover three plays and most people are running cover three now so on the next play i'm just going to switch it up i'm going to go with one of my better cover three plays the close halfback wheel this is a very good play for multiple reasons once again you got that flat beater, that table route, but you can also make a one-play touchdown. If I motion out this receiver here and I streak the B route, then smart route the A route, I have a very easy one-play touchdown to the B route, but he's using right in that area, so I don't really trust that. I'm not going to throw up the users playing that spot. I just basically take that check down, which is what, like I said, that's why I like this play. There's so many cover three beaters built into it. The next play I'm going to run is also a very good cover three, or three beater, the PAF slide. This is a play that I went over in a practice video not too long ago. If you run it from the sideline, all you have to do is streak this X route and it's a very easy one play touchdown against cover three you just have to watch this cornerback on the outside here he'll follow the streak to a point and then he'll eventually uh just fade away and at that point you just bullet pass lead away and you have a very big play now here you almost caught up to that you got more. luckily randy moss came down with it and i'm inside the five and then i'm gonna hit with my favorite red zone plays the cross drag out of the pistol bunch te this is one of the best red zone plays in the game i use this to score probably you know just about every time i'm inside the five or the ten uh all i do is put this running back here on a slant motion him out and streak the a route now the a route's typically the read no matter what whether it's cover two cover three whatever but he has it pretty packed right there he has a lot of defenders so i don't throw it immediately as he follows that back but eventually the a route comes right back and is just sitting wide open in the middle of the field and get an easy touchdown 
I'm going to show you guys another updated play from that formation in a little bit. Another cover three one play touchdown later in this video as on the defensive nope. side, we're getting a little bit better as we're coming out in some three, four even now. We're coming out, we're going to hit him with the corner blitz. He's coming out in a lot of, you know, strong, close, you know, two wide receivers, tight pack formations. So this corner blitz is just going to come right off the edge. So we get a big sack on the next play. We're, you know, basically hitting it with the exact same thing just from the other side. This time he rolls away from it and he almost picks up the first down with Michael Vick's legs again. I know I can't give him a lot of time. I got to send some heat. So I decided to go back to the dollar sugar one more time, go with the DB fire too. Um, hopefully, you know, I could get enough pressure that he has to throw the ball away right away or, you know, throw something fast because if I give him too much time, he's going to take off with Vick and get the first down anyway. And then he just dots me right over the cover too. So that didn't work out. So he's going right down the field once again. Uh, you can see, I mean, the you know, the half is almost done. We both only had the ball once. So both of us are doing a very good job of killing clock uh, while, you know, running our offense. So for the most part here, I mean, this has just been very methodical on both sides of the ball. It's already within field goal range. So I start sending some more of that dollar sugar, starting to dial up some blitzes, hoping that I can get some pressure, get some stops. And it's doing a pretty good job against the run. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm messing with this. It has a lot of speed on the field, and that's something that you're definitely going to need when it comes to Michael Vick on the next play, though. Houdini! I don't know how he got out of that. Picks up another first down. Second and 10, we're still sending a lot of heat. He's throwing it up. I mean, we're getting some good coverage on the backside, too. So we're running a lot of cover twos. We don't typically run a lot of cover twos. Nope. But we're getting some good pressure out of this, so we're going to stick with it. And on the very next play, gotcha, he bitch. throws an interception. Oh, bitch! Get out the way! My guys didn't get in my way. I probably could have had a chance at, at returning that. But uh, we're going to get the ball back with 22 seconds. Not a lot of time to do much. But I know he's running a lot of cover three, and I got a new cover three one-play touchdown out of the Pistol Bunch TE, the spot option. This is that play I was telling you guys about where I was going to give you an update to go along with the cross drag. So I'm going to do the exact same setup. Hopefully he thinks it's the exact same play. Motion out this running back, put him on a streak, put the tight end on a streak. And that's all I really got to do. Streaking the B route here is the last part, and this play is going to get wide open up the seam. Break yourself, fool! by about five to 10 yards. This is a super easy one play touchdown as we score instantly as soon as we get the ball back. On the defensive side, we make a little bit of a mistake though. We come out in a cover four. I hate running prevent defenses. You know what they say, when you run a prevent defense, you prevent yourself from winning. And on the very first play, he's already pretty much in field goal range. Now on the next play, I mean, I'm just hoping that I can get him to, you know, run out of time here with eight seconds left. He dots me up again. And with one second left, calls a timeout. Timeout! And he's kicking a field goal. So now he's only down four. And I get a ball second half, but he's definitely keeping the pressure on me. So I don't start the second half off very good with my offense. But he, I can run the ball with the quarterback, too. He's not the only one who has the fast quarterback. I'm going to do it with Lamar Jackson. Then on third and nine again, taking that flat. Like I said, those table routes, you got to take those sometimes. They can be big plays waiting to happen. Uh, on the very first drive, we're going right down the field. We dial up that cover three, one play touchdown one more time. But I just don't trust it. And the crossers just don't look like they're there. I'm not trying to throw an interception. So I throw it away. I'll just take the points, even though I'm not really happy about it. I'll definitely take the touchdown lead. So back on the defensive side, the pressure's all on him as I'm still trying to come out in these cover twos. These aren't the best, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of cover two, but I like the look of these, you know, the pressure that I might be able to get from this. And you can see, I mean, the guy's just burning me uh, right over the middle every time I dial that up. Then when I drop everybody back, I mean, he basically just takes off with Michael Vick, as you can see. I mean, this guy back here, he's doing absolutely nothing. He's just standing there, menacingly. Just covering his half of the field, even though there's no receivers out there. Like, what's going on? Man, that's Deion Sanders. You tell me Deion Sanders would just stand around with his hands in his pockets? You guys just stand there? Come on! Then on the next play, he just you know beats me right over the middle of that cover two again. Damn it! Which you know, like I said, I'm not a fan of cover twos. Uh, but I'm not in a bad spot. I mean, the game's tied, three minutes left. I just have to kill some clock, go down and score, and pull away with an easy dub. On the next play, though, I make an adjustment and I see that his cornerback doesn't follow my receiver, so I'm thinking I can just beat him to the outside for a really easy touchdown. <laughs> Well, that didn't work out as I throw an interception instead. So now I'm in a horrible position with less than three minutes to go. I mean, if he runs the ball well enough, he could possibly kill all the clock and end the game right here with a field goal. So I'm definitely sending the house trying to shut down this run game. As you can see, we're definitely coming away with a stop. Then on the next play, I mean, I'm expecting him to go short or to run with Vic. I'm trying to send some heat one more time. And sure enough, he tries to go up top and we get the stop. We force the field goal. So a little bit of a setback. We still are in the same position where we got to go down and score and win this game. Although if we don't 
do it now, we're losing. So on the next play, you know, we make that motion again. He doesn't react again, but I'm not going to fall for it. I'm just going to basically hold it this time with Lamar. Uh, I'm going to play safe. I don't want to make any mistakes and end this game right now. Uh, we're trying to go back to that cover three one play touchdown, though, and I still don't 100% trust it. So I'm going to take the dink and dunk, go down the field nice and easy. He gets me to a fourth and six, though, so I'm going to go with that cross drag play. This play here, to me, is one of the hardest plays to stop. I always use this play in critical situations, so I'm fourth and six. I got nothing but confidence. I dial up the same play that I scored with earlier, and sure enough, he gets an instant shed and an instant sack, essentially ending this game. I lost. I lost. Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to lose. Let me see the script. But there's still 41 seconds left, and I still got all three of my timeouts, so we gotta get a stop. We're sending the house on the first play, calling that timeout. Second play, I mean, if he gets a first down, it's definitely over. Second play, send the house again. Nope. He's not getting anywhere on the ground right now, as he's questionably in field goal range. On the next play, we get that stop, call the timeout, and sure enough, he comes out to punt. Wait! I get another shot! Because he's in a questionable territory. If he misses it right there, I get the ball back almost in field goal range already. So he punts it away, pins me inside the six. We go right back to that cover three one play touchdown we used earlier, but I can't force it here, so I gotta take the check down, take it out of bounds, keep that clock uh, from running. I see he's running that cover four prevent, so I try to hit him with a cover four one play touchdown. I make a little bit of a fake motion here, hoping that he bites on this drag because I really can't let the user drop back into this route. But sure enough, for whatever reason, I mean, I guess I just threw it too early or maybe I didn't pass lead enough. Nope. But his safety keeps this from being a touchdown. Totally bails him out. Then on with 13 seconds, Seconds left he comes out in a prevent and nothing's really open but I got this crosser I just barely get it off in a tight window that was a close one. We're at least moving the ball up the field so it's seven seconds left with no timeouts I noticed that he's rocking the uh, the prevent defense not the man prevent so I go with the buck scenes which is typically pretty good against cover for match so I'm hoping that this route can get open and get out of bounds and sure enough I get a slight window <laughs> As I come down with it, with two seconds left, we're gonna have a shot at a game tying field goal here. He's gonna ice me though. He's gonna make me kick this thing uh, drunk. Our idiot kicker who got liquored up. I, I smoked him on the field. And this ain't no chip shot. 53 yards uh, for the tie to go into overtime. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. can I kick it? Yes, you can. As we nail that home with just seconds to go, as we are not going away easy. So back on the offensive side, we've gotten a little bit predictable with this crossing play. So I, you know, it's to the point where I gotta just bury that. I'm gonna just run on this next play. Then I'm gonna continue with, uh, you know, some of this uh, pistol bunch T. I mean, that's pretty much my go-to formations. Running the ball a lot more in overtime than I was in regulation, as we're just basically trying to uh, just, you know, just make sure that we keep ball here. I try to toss it up one more time for that cover three one play touchdown to end the game. And and sure enough, my dude just didn't react. I mean, his safety got a much better jump on it than my receiver. Then he returns it to the 46. He's only about 10 yards from field goal range, and I haven't had success stopping this guy pretty much all day. So it's looking like I'm right back into disaster territory. I go ahead, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna hit him with a three for even because I'm pretty sure that this guy is going to run the ball. Then I come out and he's actually in an empty backfield look, but at least I call it a blitz. So on the very next play, we get a hell of a shed. A week ago! That almost looked like the disengage blitz. I gotta, you know, mess with that a little bit more because I wasn't even sure what I did there. Then on second and 19, I mean, he's been trying to hit these crossers pretty much all game. I see the penalty flag come up, and I swear to you, I thought that they were gonna get me for pass interference, and sure enough, they got the quarterback, as I guess he just barely stepped over the line. Then on the next play, I mean, I guess he tried to diagnose me in a cover three. He's in that empty backfield look again. He tries to go right up the seam, but... Bitch. My safety is all over that, and we're coming the other way with an interception, and we are immediately in field goal territory uh, to the point where we know that this game's pretty much over. I'm not passing the ball at all. I know I can kick a field goal from here, so I'm just going to hit him with a fullback inside one time. I'm going to run it three times. If I can score, I can score. If I don't, I'll kick the field goal. And then sure enough, on the very first play, even against a very packed defensive front like this, we take it outside, and we're hitting a walk-off rushing touchdown to win this game a very big come from behind win this game here was actually the last playoff game before a uh, super bowl this was the third playoff game of the series it's a divisional game so if you guys want to see the super bowl next in the next gameplay do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll make sure that my next gameplay is that super bowl other than that thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below